All right, I'm pausing my Uber. DoorDash just sent me a good order at the McDonald's I'm already at. So we are getting this day started. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Let's do some deliveries today. Two, one, two, five. Thank you. I got the goods. This one is going to a school, which I'm not surprised because it's 11.40. I've been doing a lot of businesses and schools during like the lunch rush. All right, that is delivered. The tip was $1.50 on a $6 order. Interesting. We have another McDonald's order. They usually like blow up my phone with McDonald's orders. $6 right under two miles. Let's go pick it up. This is also a leave door. It got so busy in there. When I picked up the first order, there was like nobody in there waiting. Now there's like three dashers showing them their phone when there's no orders up there. So I was like patiently waiting. And then there was a line of customers going to order. Like it got so busy. And it's only been like 20 minutes since I picked up the last order. He came out and grabbed it from me. And I was trying to get a picture of me handing it to him. Oh, that went up to $9. Sweet. I was trying to take a picture of me handing it to him. Because that's what I do. But it, it, it took a second to load. So, I just turned around and took a picture of the house. I am tracking my miles with the Solo app. I will have it linked down below. They track miles. They calculate your taxes when you link your gig accounts into the solo app they'll keep track of your earnings and your miles and they'll calculate your taxes throughout the year so like what i make today they'll give me a new number of what i'm expecting to owe at the end of the year they do it with a running number which is which i think is the coolest part about the solo app because they'll give you a running number throughout the year like as you go so you're not surprised at the end of the year like oh my god why do i owe so much like you're more prepared for it i'm declining seven dollars for eight miles and yeah i got both apps back on probably gonna head to that same mcdonald's area there's more restaurants around it but the orders that i'm getting from those restaurants are not good at all so that's when i really like picking up at McDonald's. Guess where my next order is? Yes, yeah. Yeah, you got one more bag. Okay. Love it when they hand you a heavy bag and the stickers just like pop open. Not even rip, just pop open. FCF, right? What happens if you get that wrong, the code wrong? Does it just like ask you to do it again? That's what I'm guessing. So, this is a hand it to me. I love when I deliver kids meals. There, there was a little boy in there. He's like, Nuggies! He was so happy. That made me so happy. Complete delivery. $12. $10. Tip. So the stickers popped off again as I was walking. They just pop off. Um, I guess the, there's too much food in the bag and they just pop off. I'm glad they didn't rip, but I realized I was doing this at their door. If you twist the handles together, it takes the pressure off of the stickers and then you could stick it and it's not gonna pull it apart. So I need to remember that one. So I'm at $28 in an hour and 15 minutes. 
just by taking those three McDonald's orders. 54% to 52%. By declining one order, I'm going down 2%. Y'all know I don't pay attention to acceptance rating, but <laughs> make that make sense. So the DoorDash app has had some more updates this past few days. Um, you probably got an email with a lot of information, you guys. A lot has changed in DoorDash. They updated the tip screen about three months ago. I made a video about it, stating my opinions on it, and I got some of your opinions as well. And they have updated it once again. This time, they are being flat out honest, saying, orders with no tip might take longer to get delivered. Are you sure you want to continue? Dashers can pick and choose which orders they want to do. Orders that take longer to be accepted by dashers tend to result in a slower delivery. Add a tip or continue without it. Let me know off rip what are your thoughts. Here we are yet again, uh, DoorDash getting the customer to pay for our time because DoorDash clearly doesn't pay us enough. I cannot make this up, you guys. My fourth order from lovely McDonald's. This is a hand it to me and it is at yet another school but a different school. I didn't decline many on DoorDash. They've just been giving me bangers at McDonald's, which sometimes this happens. I think one day I took more McDonald's orders and maybe two from somewhere else. Today I only got time for these four. By the time I dropped this one off, I got to head to my, my job. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching my quick little scheduled shift oh that was my other question okay i always schedule my shifts because i'm not a top dasher and i can't dash whenever i want so i have to schedule or else i'm risking it not being busy enough for me to dash now my question to you is do you ever see peak pay when you schedule a dash because i i realized somebody was talking about peak pay this morning on a video I was watching and I realized I have not seen peak pay in forever and I schedule every single one of my shifts I mean there's probably like an hour or two a day where I'm, I got time so I dash now but I never see peak pay on a scheduled shift am I the only one who has noticed this because I'm not seen peak pay in so long but I schedule each and every one of my shifts so answer me that below please um, I'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.